What's going on, y'all? It's Sunday now. The 28th. Yeah. The days just bleed into one another for me anymore. They do. So let me talk about this Murray McNabb album, okay? Um... <clears throat> Gianmarco Langori is the guitarist's name and the owner of this label, Sarang Bang Records. Gianmarco Ligori is the person who is responsible for bringing this music to us via his label, Sarang Bang. I thought I would get a little more familiar um, before speaking because uh, I do think in the past I may have um, missed an opportunity to really shed light on music that people have given me by reviewing it too soon. And so I went back. Um, Gianmarco has sent other music to me uh, by McNabb and by his band Salon Kingsador. So I went back and listened to that stuff. Um, there's also this band that McNabb was part of. The album apparently is really collectible. Is it Dr. Tree from New Zealand? Uh, jazz Rock. It's a good album. Um, I have a download of it, but it's apparently very rare. Gianmarco had, has had the great pleasure of playing with this musician. Mc, <clears throat> excuse me. McNabb is not a fire musician. He's not the sort of person that when you hear him, it's like, oh my God, this guy is amazing. It's more understated. It's more like the guy is a, a river of music that is wide. Apparently, he made his uh, living by writing com commercials and jingles and all sorts of stuff that uh, uh, I understand by reading is ubiquitous in New Zealand, that it's everywhere. He's written some really famous stuff. And that he did that with no qualms because it allowed him to record and play the music he loves. Now that's what I pick up about the music. This e-music is electronic music from McNabb as opposed to his jazz rock stuff where he's mainly playing um, piano, an electric piano. It's very different from that. There's nothing Eno, Brian Eno electronic about this at all, which is a plus. I love Brian Eno, but the plus about this is that when you hear the tracks, no one comes to mind. You don't think, oh, this sounds like, this sounds like, oh, he's doing Krautrock. Not, no, not at all. It's McNabb doing his thing. Uh, there is a piece on here, I think it's on side two, Ebony. Yes, well, perfect title for it. Because it calls to mind uh, Africa. And yet it does it in a very picturesque, no, what is it, surreal, very imaginative way. You know, as I've listened to this album, and I like it when this happens, <clears throat> that'll be going from piece to piece, and I'll forget what I'm listening to, and I'll have to look. What am I listening to? Because it will be continue to capture my interest, and it'll be like, hmm, what's going on here? Jim Marco, uh, hats off to you uh, and your label and your great taste for sharing the world, the music of McNabb with the world. I also went back and played the Salon Kingsador album that you gave me. And it's music that, again, is not fiery, but it's like it's, um, it's like a space that is being inhabited that you can step into and become oriented to and find something that you're drawn to or not. I like, I think that's a good way to describe um, music that is not specifically made for entertainment. It's kind of like, well, you find your own way here, you know? So, you know, it's like, okay, so, for example, when Jeff Beck makes records, obviously the thing that we're going to be bottom line listening for is his guitar playing. But stuff like the Salon Kings Adore, it's like there's... The focus is up to the listener, what he wants, to, you know, and I, I like that. I also want to thank you, Gianmarco, for um, sharing this music with, with me and giving me the opportunity to um, help expose others to it. I don't think there's going to be anybody else in the vinyl community talking about this, Murray McNabb, 
I wish, I hope someone else picks up on this. Murray McNabb. Two Bs, McNabb. E-Music. I also want to thank Anthony Ferraro. I've never met you, Anthony, and you are so kind to me. I look at your posts on Facebook, I get a sense that we're probably really different as people, although we have some similar musical tastes. So it blows my mind how you just have been over the years. You just keep sending me records, stuff that I really like. It's so kind of you, Anthony. Thank you. The most recent thing Anthony sent me was he sent me a CD, a brain ticket. I have this on vinyl. It's in the other room. My B's are in the other room. There's no room in here for A's and B's. I have an, an original on vinyl. This is remastered beautifully, noticeably remastered. Thank you, Anthony. The other thing he told me a while ago that he was going to get for me, I kind of forgot about it, but once it came here, I remember, oh, he said he was going to. The latest soft machine, hidden details. He told me he was going to get me a copy of this. I'm blown away, Anthony. Thank you. Because not only did he get me a copy, but he got me a specific copy. He got me the tour, limited edition tour edition of the album. It's a double album. There's only 200 copies on this, in this version. Two different colors of marble vinyl. Number 84 out of 200. Thank you so much, Anthony. Is this soft machine, do these musicians have any business calling this music soft machine music? I'd have to say yes, because time doesn't stop. And we have, I say we have no business expecting people to repeat the past and play up to the expectations of a fan who maybe has no idea what it's takes to make music. This is a wonderful album. In the tradition, there are a couple of Mike Ratledge uh, compositions on here. John Marshall's in the band. None of the original, original members are, are in the band anymore. But is it in that, is it in that lane? Is it, is it in that tradition? Absolutely. Roy Babington on bass. There's some really beautiful parts on here. It's some of the more ambient pieces that really stuck out to me. The out bloody intro, out bloody rages, part one, the way they do that. This is really wonderful, Anthony. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. Soft Machine, Hidden Details. Highly recommend it. Some music that I've been listening to via the internet, YouTube, and my video collection that I don't have much on vinyl, but I love their music. Is the band's Killing Joke and Susie and the Banshees. I have Susie over here. I've got a couple singles by Killing Joke. I could grab them, but what I wanted to just mainly say is I've just been re revisiting the power of those bands. Uh, there's something um, very excellent about Susie and the band. Susie, I've seen them live. It's one of my top shows. She, her presence, there's something about she commands, you know. But the music, I love. And Killing Joke, you know, wow. It's the power of the music. Really, it's the power. There's a combined power of everything that just still hits me like a ton of bricks. Um, like, rather than searching for things to go on about, I'm just going to like do my thing here and let you know about this music. Murray McNabb. New Zealand musician, well worth you finding out about. Sarang Bang Records, I will leave a link below the video.